Shalom to everybody in the chat. It's good to see everybody. Hope you're doing well in all four corners of the earth. Well, we're going to talk about Ahmad Arbery, some of the most recent news that have come out in the last few days on this case. And you know, no matter how you look at it, it, it's a tragedy. And it's a lot of interesting twists and turns that have come out ever since. So we're going to give it a few more moments for people to come in before I get started. Shalom. Shalom to everybody. Well, I'm going to be doing current events on Saturday, and we're going to touch on some of the topics that have come out recently. I, I have a lot to say on many things right now. So I have not done a video on HR 6666 and that's because I wanted to save that particular topic for live stream on my current event so we'll get into talking about that and we're also going to talk about how COVID-19 has been added in the argument for reparations we're going to talk about that as well and a few other things that I have on the tap so I just hope you all can be there. It'll be Saturday, Saturday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So hopefully you will all be there. <laughs> I sure hope so. Hmm. All right. We have a hundred and fifteen people between my two channels, and I know more will be coming, and that's fine. So I'm going to hold on one second here. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys know that they finally showed the picture of the officers that killed Brianna Taylor. They finally published the pictures along with the officer's name. So that'll be another story that I will do with the current events this coming Saturday. All right, y'all. Let's get started on some of the newest things that came out. Let's see, what's that here? Yeah, okay. All right, let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay. Now, let me just make sure everybody can see my, my screen. Um, give me a one if you can see my screen. All right. Oh, 
Okay, thank you. No, everything died down with police shootings because we were all, and still are many of us, on stay at home. So the police did not have access to us all this time. You know, that's why they're going crazy every time they see someone up in New York that's black and tackling them down to the ground, screaming about social distancing. But they don't seem to have those same concerns when it's a high IQ person. They suddenly don't have those concerns about social distancing. All right, let's get started. Now, this is a story that came out today on the New York Post, ladies and gentlemen. Ahmaud Arbery may have had previous run-in with alleged killer. So when they saw him, they actually knew who he was. It was not the first time they had encountered him. So according to this article, they had a run-in two weeks before the shooting. And they also believe there are more witnesses in this case, and I'll explain why they came to that conclusion. So a new witness in the case told police he believes Aubrey was the man who was poking around a construction site in Brunswick neighborhood on February 11th and 12th before the unarmed black jogger was shot dead by two white men. So we saw that on the security camera. At least it's a still shot or I've seen the still shots and I've seen the actual video. Okay, so we know what happened. They pulled up to him and demanded that he stop jogging, which they had no right to do. It was not their right to make some citizens arrest over him walking up to a construction site. He didn't take anything. So that, their reasoning is just completely bogus. All right, so they're just going over um, what happened the day that he was shot, but they believe that there was a previous encounter between Aubrey and the men that killed him eventually, previously. Now, they also believe there are more witnesses. They have a memorial that's actually behind, it's like around the corner from where the McMichaels live. There's a memorial set up there for, you know, you know how they put up a, memor a memorial in the spot where a person is killed. There is one there. And somebody left an anonymous note. And the note said that they were sorry they did not speak up. So now GBI took the note and they are now going back to do more investigations because for somebody to put a note there saying, I'm sorry that I didn't speak up, I didn't do anything, that says right there, it's got to be more people that saw exactly what happened. So it was an unsigned note left at the memorial site of Ahmad. It says, I am so sorry. The unnote, unsigned note said, I am so sorry. I should have stopped them. I am so sorry. Okay, you, could, you can't even make a statement like that unless you saw what happened. So in my opinion, it's got to be one of those neighbors that lived on that street where he was gunned down that saw it. And they, of course, didn't say nothing but left an anonymous note. So they now realize there's more investigation that they must do on this. And they're going to have to go back out and canvas the area 
and figure out who saw that shooting on the street where his memorial is on. So, I mean, this is just a mess. This is a mess. And it wouldn't be this way if so many people involved, like your prosecutors and police, were not trying to help cover this up. Remember, this happened February 23rd. And we're just hearing about it now. Look, look at Brianna Taylor. That happened a few months ago. We're just hearing about Brianna Taylor now. You know, and, and it's it's ridiculous. Now you see there are it, it's no telling how many of these shootings that have occurred that we still don't know anything about. But it just goes to show you when these things go down and one of us are involved, they will go above and beyond to hide the truth. You know, it, it's ridiculous, but this is the way they have their system set up. We know it's rigged, but we know it's set up to be this way, to get them out of everything and punish us for every little teeny thing, even things we didn't do. So when they shot him, um, I don't know if any of you heard, the autopsy has been done. Let me go ahead and show you, share my screen here. Let me share it one more time. Okay. They have published the autopsy. And according to the autopsy, Ahmad was shot twice in the chest at close range. Okay, so um, that's what killed him. Those were the shots that killed him. So the autopsy shows Ahmad Aubrey was shot twice in the chest, grazed on the wrist during struggle for gun. So, I mean, I saw that video. I just can't watch it anymore. I saw the video and boy, he put up one hell of a fight. He did struggle and I don't blame him. So I'm glad they released that, but what they really do need to release, I want to know um, about the prosecutor that decided that this was not a case, all right? They had a whole different prosecutor. It was a, it was a high IQ male. And he decided this was not a case. And he refused to arrest these two men. Then it went on to another prosecutor. And I know some of you watched True Royal's video yesterday. That was another DA. Now there's one more DA that has the actual case. And I'm telling you, let's see. Not her, her. All right. This is, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, a Black Republican, okay? Need I say more? She is the DA that is handling the case. So her name is Joyette Holmes, a Republican chief magistrate judge for Cobb County, Georgia. Um, and she joined the court March 13th, 2015, she ran unopposed in a general election back in November 8th, 2016. She resigned July 1st, 2019. And then she was sworn in as a district attorney for Cobb County. So she is the third DA that is now handling this case. So I'm not shocked that they're trying to scapegoat and use a, a black woman, but we, we already know that's a coonette right there, a black Republican. <laughs> we know that's a coonette. You know, this is like Tammy the Mammy all over again. 
So if anything goes wrong during the case, they now got a scapegoat black woman to put it on. Okay. okay. That's what they intend on doing. Oh, did something happen? Where's everybody? Um, can everybody still hear me? Give me a one if you can hear me. Why, why is there a zero? Hello? Is, there, is everybody here? What the hell happened? Okay, I have no... Okay, I guess I lost my stream. I don't see anybody here anymore. Okay. Uh. 